Do you know which fresh foods to buy and which ones to avoid when preparing for an emergency or just planning for the week ahead? Hey there, fellow prepper! We're all about being prepared, right? Well, when it comes to stocking up on food, there's a bit of wisdom we need to have on hand. Some fresh foods are absolute winners when you're looking to maximize your nutrition and shelf life, while others, well, they'll spoil faster than you can say bug out bag. So let's get straight to it. You'll definitely want to grab these six fresh foods the next time you're out. Buy spinach. Spinach, often referred to as the king of leafy greens, holds a special place in many cuisines around the world. You know what's great for that iron boost? A can of spinach. And remember Popeye? He might have exaggerated a bit, but he wasn't entirely wrong. Spinach is teeming with nutrients, making it one of the healthiest veggies you can incorporate into your diet. Whether you're whipping up a creamy spinach dip or tossing it into a lasagna, its soft texture and mild taste make it easy to incorporate into dishes. According to Harvard T.H. Chan's School of Public Health, spinach is a rich source of vitamin K, vitamin A, vitamin C, and folate. It also contains minerals like manganese, magnesium, and iron. If you're diving into a can of spinach, do ensure you drain and maybe give it a slight squeeze to remove excess liquid before using it in your dishes. Buy chickpeas. Oh, the humble chickpea, or as some might call it, the garbanzo bean. It's not just a foundation for making hummus, you know. These little beige balls of goodness can be thrown into salads, stews, or even roasted for a crunchy snack. Remember that chickpea curry we had the other day? So creamy and flavorful. Originating in the Middle East and the Mediterranean region, chickpeas have become universally beloved. They're not only tasty, but boast a great nutritional profile. As per Mayo Clinic, chickpeas are rich in protein, making them a favorite among vegetarians and vegans. They also offer dietary fiber, which aids in digestion, and a range of vitamins and minerals, including magnesium, potassium, and vitamin B6. When you're reaching for a can of chickpeas in the aisle, make sure to drain and rinse them before adding to your dishes to remove any excess salt and preservatives. Buy peaches. Let's sweeten the deal with some canned peaches. The scent and taste of peaches are enough to remind anyone of a warm summer day. Juicy, sweet, and slightly tart, canned peaches can be a dessert on their own or a compliment to other sweet treats. My aunt used to make a delightful peach cobbler with these. And remember those peach iced teas? With canned peaches, you get the luxury of enjoying this summer fruit all year round. When it comes to nutrition, peaches, according to Medical News Today, are a good source of dietary fiber, vitamin C, vitamin A, and antioxidants. They can also help with digestion and even have properties that may promote healthier skin. If you're reaching for a can of peaches, much like the other fruits mentioned, it's wise to opt for those packed in natural juice or water to minimize added sugars. Buy quinoa. Well, have you thought about stocking up on some quinoa? Often mistaken for a grain, quinoa is actually a seed that originates from the high-altitude regions of South America. You remember that quinoa salad we had at that New Age Cafe? Light, fluffy, and surprisingly filling. Quinoa is highly versatile. You can make salads, pilafs, or even desserts with it. Plus, it's a wonderful source of complete protein, particularly for those who follow a vegetarian or vegan diet. According to the Whole Grains Council, quinoa not only provides all nine essential amino acids, but it's also packed with magnesium, phosphorus, manganese, and folate. When preparing quinoa, it's a good habit to give it a good rinse under cold water to remove its natural coating called saponin which can sometimes leave a bitter taste. Buy avocados. Oh, where do we even begin with avocados? First off, they're not just a trend. These green gems have been a staple in many cultures for centuries. You might hear your friends raving about the latest avocado toast they tried at a new brunch spot or the creamy guacamole they whipped up for a picnic. And for a good reason, originally hailing from the sunny terrains of Central and South America, avocados have indeed charmed their way into kitchens globally. What's not to love? Their creamy texture lends itself well to so many dishes, from being the star ingredient in a classic guacamole, a delightful addition to fresh salads, an unexpected yet delightful twist in smoothies, and believe it or not, a game changer in desserts like brownies. But it's not just about the taste and versatility. Avocados are nutritional powerhouses too. Ever had someone claim they're swapping their bananas for avocados? Sounds odd, but there's science behind it. Avocados are bursting with potassium, even more than what you'd find in bananas. Plus, they're packed with heart-loving, monounsaturated fatty acids and enough fiber to keep things moving smoothly, if you catch my drift. Now, if you're planning on adding these to your shopping list, here's a quick buying tip. Gently press the avocado with your thumb. If it yields to slight pressure and feels soft yet firm, you're in for a treat. Just make sure it's not overly squishy. Nobody wants an overripe avocado. 
So next time you're at the store, give avocados a shot. Whether you're blending them, baking them, or simply spreading them on toast, they're sure to elevate your culinary experience. Buy lemons. Lastly, for a bit of zest, why not grab some lemons? There's something so refreshing about the smell of a freshly cut lemon. Oh, and remember that lemon tart we shared last summer? Pure bliss. Lemons are not just for garnishing drinks or zesting over dishes. You can make lemonades, pies, or even use them to freshen up your water. According to the USDA, lemons are a good source of vitamin C, which can boost your immune system and even promote healthy skin. Plus, lemons can be a great aid in digestion and help alkalize your body. When choosing lemons at the store, go for those that feel heavy for their size. It usually means they're juicier inside. Remember to store them in a cool place or refrigerate to prolong their freshness. Now, while I'm all for getting a variety of foods, you might want to think twice about these. Avoid raw sprouts. Raw sprouts like alfalfa, clover, radish, and mung bean sprouts might appear harmless at first glance. After all, they seem to be the perfect crunchy addition to your salads and sandwiches, right? However, there's a lurking danger with these little green tendrils. Because of the way they're grown, typically in warm and humid conditions, sprouts are highly susceptible to bacterial contamination. In fact, According to the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, raw or lightly cooked sprouts have been linked to various outbreaks of foodborne illnesses caused by pathogens like E. coli and salmonella. If you've got a soft spot for sprouts, it's safer to cook them thoroughly before consumption, thereby killing off any harmful bacteria. Avoid raw oysters. Now, raw oysters can be quite the delicacy, especially when paired with a glass of chilled white wine on a summer evening. But here's the catch. They also come with a risk of food poisoning. Raw oysters can harbor harmful bacteria and viruses, with Vibrio vulnificus being one of the major culprits. According to the Centers for CDC, this bacteria can cause an infection called vibriosis, which leads to symptoms like diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. In severe cases, especially in those with weakened immune systems, vibriosis can be fatal. To reduce your risk, it's recommended to thoroughly cook oysters and avoid eating them raw. Avoid raw milk. The idea of drinking raw, unpasteurized milk might seem alluring to some, especially those who romanticize the idea of natural or unprocessed foods. However, raw milk can be a dangerous choice. The pasteurization process, which involves heating the milk to kill harmful bacteria, was developed for a reason. Raw milk can contain harmful pathogens like E. coli, salmonella, listeria, and campylobacter. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, raw milk is responsible for a higher proportion of dairy-related outbreaks than any other dairy product. Consuming raw milk can lead to severe health conditions, ranging from diarrhea and stomach cramps to more serious ailments like kidney failure or even death, especially in vulnerable groups like children, elderly, and those with weakened immune systems. The nutritional benefits one might seek from raw milk can be found in pasteurized milk without the accompanying risks. So, the next time you're thinking of going au naturel with your milk, it might be worth considering the potential dangers and opting for the safer, pasteurized version instead. Avoid certain tropical fish like barracuda. While many enjoy a variety of fish as part of their diet, certain tropical fish such as barracuda, moray, eel, and amberjack, especially when caught in warmer waters, can be dangerous to consume. The reason? These fish can be carriers of toxins, leading to a condition known as ciguatera fish poisoning. This occurs when the fish consume toxins produced by marine algae, which then accumulate as you move up the food chain. Consuming such tainted fish can lead to an array of symptoms ranging from gastrointestinal distress to neurological issues like tingling fingers or lips, reverse of temperature sensations, and even joint pain. While cooking the fish can kill bacteria and parasites, it won't eliminate the ciguatera toxins. Hence, it's best to be cautious about where your fish is sourced from and to avoid those known to carry a higher risk. Avoid pre-cut and pre-packaged fruits and vegetables. Sure, grabbing that package of pre-cut watermelon or diced bell peppers saves you a few minutes in the kitchen. But have you ever stopped to think about the trade-offs? When fruits and veggies are sliced and diced, they become exposed to all sorts of potential contaminants. That smooth surface, you see, it's basically an open invitation for bacteria like Listeria, E. coli, and Salmonella. These bacteria love the moisture and nutrients from freshly cut produce. And remember that scary news piece where the CDC talked about a salmonella outbreak connected to pre-cut melons? Yikes! A safer approach is to buy your fruits and veggies whole. Give them a good wash and do the cutting right before you eat them. But hey, if you're really pressed for time and still want those pre-cut options, at least make sure they're stored cold and eaten quickly. Keep an eye on those use-by dates. Avoid raw cookie dough. Okay, hands up if you've ever sneaked a spoonful of cookie dough while whipping up a batch of cookies. 
Guilty as charged. But before you go licking the spoon again, consider this. Raw cookie dough is a bit of a double whammy when it comes to potential food risks. Those raw eggs, they could be carrying salmonella. And that soft, powdery flour, it might be hiding E. coli. Both of these baddies can really upset your stomach. And trust me, you don't want to be battling stomach cramps, diarrhea, or fever. The FDA has been pretty clear on this. Both eggs and flour need some heat to make them safe. If you're really craving that doughy goodness, look for edible cookie dough products designed to be eaten as they are. Otherwise, patience is the key. Wait for those cookies to come out golden brown from the oven, and then indulge in the warm, gooey, and risk-free deliciousness. All right, before we wrap up this video, I've got a quick question for you. Which of these foods are you already stocking up on, and which ones are you going to avoid? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have any other food suggestions or experiences, do share them too. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. Until next time, stay prepared and stay safe.